Aerobotics is a drone company. We make fully autonomous drones, uh, industrial grade drones, ones that can fly without a human operator in command, which means that we have a system that's comprised of this docking station that you see behind me and the drone here and a software which are an end-to-end -end solution basically that allows our customers to launch drone operations on site whether it would be in mining in oil and gas or in any other industrial facility without having the overhead of human operators of the regulation the certification and all of that goes into our service business model this year we're announcing uh, a few new customers. So we have very exciting BHP in Arizona, one of the largest mining companies in the world. We partner with them to provide different services starting from inspections of remote areas and machinery and infrastructure and the mine site, surveying, mapping. When we're talking about surveying, for example, volumetric calculations of stockpiles in mine sites, Ground surveying teams would climb on piles and use GPS sticks and it would take them hours if not days to accomplish surveying of one stockpile. And today the drone can do that in half an hour to 45 minutes to survey one stockpile from above. The aim is to reduce cost, to increase safety, reduce the risk and to increase the operational efficiency of the mine site. Another customer we're announcing is Minera Sentinela in Chile through a new distributor that we've partnered with in Chile called Rock Blast. Rock Blast is working with a lot of the big mining companies in Chile and we're proud to be their partner and to bring those systems to Chile through their services. And the last customer that we're announcing is a customer in Israel. It's actually the largest seaport project in Israel. The project is valued in uh, 5 billion shekels, which is $1 billion. And we're basically doing a project construction monitoring on a daily basis with the drone on the construction site, helping the customer understand what is the planned versus built every day and helping them plan their next day's operation on site. Before we came on board and started providing surveying and monitoring with the drone, they used to hire three different ground surveying teams to come on site and provide uh, surveying services on the ground. That would take them somewhere between five to seven days to achieve full surveying of the whole area of the project, whereas now with the drone they do it in one day for 45 minutes to survey the whole area of the project. So that would significantly decrease the time it would take and obviously the time it would take to finish the whole project and to save money. So this has not been done before in a similar way. The drone is allowing customers to perform tasks that they did in other ways before that took them a lot more time in a more efficient way today. Aerobotics is the first company in the world to obtain a certification to fly drones fully autonomously without a human pilot in command in the world. So that happened in Israel last year with the Civil Aviation Authority of Israel. And then we achieved a similar type of certification in Australia as well with CASA. And now that we're launching in the US, uh, we're working with the FAA to slowly get to that level of certification that we need. Currently, we have the first type of certification that we can already operate with and we started working with customers on site but slowly we will have to progress into beyond visual line of sight operation certification. When we have only a visual line of sight certification to operate we actually do have to have the person on site looking at the drone we have to do that even though technically we don't need that and the system is working on its own and then once we get the BV loss operation which I believe will take us a few months we will then remove the person from the site and be able to monitor remotely our operation and let the system do what it needs to do, which is work on its own. We see ourselves going into cities as the next step. We want to be able to support law enforcement forces, search and rescue forces in cities. If they need an eye in the sky straight away within a click of a button, the drone can go there and give them an aerial view of what's going on. And since those systems are fully automated and they're industrial grade, they can be positioned on rooftops in the cities and they can be launched on demand whenever the closest drone is being called to the area in need. The range that the, do that the drone can fly is 6 kilometers up to 13 kilometers radius around the docking station with more masts of communication. So we have 
a pretty large range to cover, even in, in urban areas. But we can have two to three to four to even ten docking stations positioned around town and have one drone hop from one docking station to another. So that's another development that we're working on. So a city may need more than one unit, right? And we are, by the way, hoping that we will be part of the IPP projects that are currently being evaluated. So hopefully we will be able to fly in urban areas by the end of this year in the US. That's the next step for us. Later on, commercial everyday use in cities, but that will take some time. Regulation will not allow that to happen so quickly. Aero TV is brought to you by Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com.